Previously on Smart Mobility Today, we looked at auto industry strike news, stories about AV safety, autonomous boating, and robots in the workplace. This week's stories include auto industry bumps in the road for EV adoption and AV testing, plus robotic dogs, drone delivery of medicine and supplies, and this week's walks in space. You've got something to say, and we can help you say it. Detroit Media Productions is here for your audio, photography, and video needs. DetroitMediaProductions.com Hi, this is Cindy Polakowski. As a two-month auto industry strike seems to be ending, many workers will be returning to build electric vehicles that, with the new union agreements in place, will be less profitable, more expensive, or both. While electric vehicle sales have been growing, they are a long way from keeping up with some early optimistic predictions. With that sales reality also comes some adjusted expectations. GM is now lowering its target of producing 500,000 EVs by the middle of 2024, and Ford is pushing out the date it had set to reach its 600,000 vehicle target goal. A combination of higher EV prices and EV hesitancy is acting as an auto industry reality check, highlighted as new worker contracts and the UAW strike activity. Following last week's story about the California Department of Motor Vehicles suspending cruise AV permits due to safety concerns, the GM subsidiary has stopped operations across all of its fleets. Making the announcement on social media, Cruise said it would, quote, take steps to rebuild public trust after losing its ability to operate in California. The company says the action is not due to any new incidents and that operations of supervised AVs would continue. Following an accident with a parked bicycle, Japan's first pilot project of a fully autonomous vehicle has been suspended, the latest in a series of setbacks in the AV testing world. The news has special importance in Japan, where driverless vehicles have been promoted as a benefit for the country's aging population. The incident involved a driverless, bus-like vehicle that hit a bicycle parked at the side of the road. No injuries were caused. This comes one year after Japan began allowing Level 4 self-driving vehicles on limited areas involving public roads. Now a story about automotive technology that is not a downer. In Illinois, the governor's office and the state EPA director announced a new $4,000 incentive as part of the Illinois Electric Vehicle Rebate Program. The money is available to those who have recently purchased an AV or are buying one in the near future. About $12 million has been appropriated by the Illinois General Assembly for the fiscal year ending on June 30th, 2024. If you are considering an EV, take action soon. The program ends when the money runs out. Looking for better ways to manage your IT, phone systems, or remote workforce? Improve your organization using technology that works for you. PSNTechnology.com This week, the White House rolled out an executive order designed to monitor and manage the risks of artificial intelligence in an effort to address a rapidly evolving technology that has sparked concern among many. According to White House officials, this order is the most significant action on AI taken by any government in the world. According to the White House chief of staff, quote, we can't move in normal government or private sector pace. We have to move fast, really fast, ideally faster than the technology itself. Boston Dynamics has turned its robot dog into a talking robot dog, thanks to ChatGPT. A recently released video features a robot dog wearing a top hat, mustache and googly eyes and if that is not weird enough it is chatting with a british accent while taking visitors on a guided tour of the company's facilities the robot named spot shows off features like charging stations moves its mouth while it's speaking and is capable of answering questions eventually And on the topic of canines, the U.S. Marines have developed a robotic dog armed with a rocket launcher. Members of the Tactical Training and Exercise Control Group 
have conducted a proof-of-concept test of a quadruped robot that fires an M72 rocket launcher. This technology is based on a rocket-armed robot developed in 2022 by a company in St. Petersburg for the Russian military. This most recent demonstration was carried out in California and is supposed to be a reliable and safe way to fire a weapon from a distance. While the real purpose of the exercise was to test the weapon's firing capability and used an off-the-shelf robotic dog, this is kind of an odd trend. Other efforts to weaponize robot dogs have included Ghost Robotics Quadruped with a 6.5 millimeter rifle pod from Sword Defense. It comes with the ability to hit human-sized targets from several hundred meters. We will be right back. We will be right back. I'm ready. I'm ready. I can give it a go. Presenting. I did. Okay, okay. So sure. That's why it makes no sense. Okay. Freelancers, gig workers, and entrepreneurs are creating the future of work. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter at workshifter.com and follow us at Workshifter on social media. In North Carolina, a partnership between the state's Department of Transportation, the UNC, and autonomous shuttle provider BEEP is responsible for an autonomous shuttle project focused on connecting small AVs with transit stations and serving dense communities like college campuses. According to Simon West, Chief Experience Officer at BEEP, universities are a great use case for AV shuttles. The 2.2-mile, six-stop autonomous shuttle project will serve students and others at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. And the Charlotte Area Transit System will collect data related to how the shuttle serve public transit as a first-mile and last-mile connector. Autonomous shuttles are today operating on campuses in multiple states, including California, Arizona, and Michigan. By 2025, the Cleveland Clinic says it will be using autonomous drones to deliver medicines in Northeast Ohio, joining the ranks of organizations like the University of Akron and Amazon. The program's goal is to serve at least a dozen Cleveland Clinic locations. According to the Akron Beacon Journal, deliveries may include prescriptions, lab samples, surgical supplies, and other medical at home services delivered via automotive courier or ground delivery. This week, the fourth ever all-female spacewalk in history was conducted outside the International Space Station. Two NASA astronauts, crewmates Jasmine Mobelli and Laurel O'Hara, replaced a bearing to keep the solar arrays on the space station rotating properly. They conducted other maintenance activities before running out of time to complete another major task, the removal of an electronics box from a communications antenna. This fourth ever all-female extravehicular activity, or EVA, started at 8.05 a.m. Wednesday when the two astronauts switched their spacesuits to battery power, configured their tethers and tools, and started working on their scheduled tasks. Read these stories and more at globalautomobility.com and subscribe to Smart Mobility today on your favorite podcast platform. Sign up to receive our weekly newsletter and follow us on social media at Smart Mobility Today. Produced by Detroit Media Productions, this is Smart Mobility Today.